So, 13 years. I've served with you almost as long as I served with Council Member Bossy, because I think she was sworn in first. But pretty close. And again, uh, we've been through, through a lot. We have been through a lot as a city, we've been through a lot as a council, and as much as I'm in denial about Lily sitting out there, I feel the same way about you. Because even though we don't necessarily see eye to eye on every issue, we do see eye to eye on a lot of issues, um, it's like we're both part of the furniture somehow. And so it feels, as said, unreal. Um, 13 years is a long time. Um, and this is a time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate uh, Lily's achievements, your achievements, Les as mayor and Sharona as, as vice mayor. But I think it's also a time to reflect. And, and not only to reflect on what we've been through together. Um, we heard that Les was mayor during COVID, which was uh, an unprecedented time in our community. And we've seen the increase in crime, which is also something unprecedented. You were mayor and our mayor at an unprecedented time for our community when we see uh, the rise in anti-Jewish racism. Just when you thought that anti-Jewish racism couldn't get any worse, couldn't be more horrific, couldn't be more threatening and vile, here we are. And we must acknowledge that it is often just disguised thinly as anti-Zionism. Um, this brings me to a memory that I have with you, which is that when we were both together in Israel, which is a, a, a it wasn't my first time there, but it was my mom's first time, and it was a very special trip together with a group of mayors that the AJC sponsored. Um, so the fact that we are now, as a city, always have, um, have been proud of a large part of our Jewish identity, going back to, and I, I see that Mayor Delshot is here, when we named a street after Theodore Herzl, the flag installation, I think, which is something that you proposed and that we all unanimously supported, has been extremely important to our community, especially at a time when you see other uninformed, misinformed, benighted communities that are passing pro-Hamas, anti-Israel resolutions um, that are just shocking. Um, here's the thing is that we have done a lot as a community and we will continue to do a lot as a community. And uh, I certainly remain committed to continuing this important work, which is work that you have done as well and you've been acknowledged uh, uh, and appreciated for. Uh, but from my perspective, there is nothing more important right now and I think that the fact that those of us who, in my opinion, are lucky enough to be Jewish, that the response to this vile um, anti-Jewish racism and Jew hatred is leaning into pride, pride of ourselves as a community and pride of our being Jewish. And I want to thank you for with your, uh, you know, as said for me, I trace it not just back to our trip in Israel and um, our Shabbat dinner with our sister city, uh, the mayor and the vice mayor, uh, but this flag installation is a visual reminder of how we are different, and I mean that in a very positive way. Um, we heard that Pesach is coming up, and it is, uh, and it's not just that that night is different, our community is different, and I thank Hashem for the fact that we are willing to stand to those values, and you have, in your year as mayor, been at the forefront. I thank you for that. I thank you for everything else that you've done too. We've heard a lot of it. And I know time is short, but I just want to wish you and your Michelle and your beautiful grandchildren as well a, a, a wonderful retirement, but I don't look at it as that. As said, I'm still in denial. And I know you will be back at, uh, at, at council, at events. And that's the wonderful thing about our community. It's, uh, it is a small community. It is a family. and. Um, and I appreciate being in that community with you and serving with you and serving under your leadership. Thank you. So, Julian, 